A song about, uh, let's see, yeah, a song about unrequited love. And I know, right, people say you shouldn't sing about things that you clearly don't understand. <laughs> and you're looking at me and thinking, clearly that man has never experienced unrequited love. Look at him with his long flowing locks and his sophisticated <laughs> air of charm. Well, what are you laughing at? Now, right. Uh, I have, I have, and I can, I can, I can prove it because I bought my house four times now from four different women. <laughs> All called wife, and each one more beautiful and beguiling and sly than the last. Right? <laughs> but now I, I, I found a, a, a lady who loves me, and I can tell she. And the fact that she's 19 and gorgeous, she's got nothing, and, and I'm loaded, she's got nothing to do with it. Right? <laughs> because um, I get on my own nerves after a while and uh, there is a, a, a band on after me and you might think, oh loud, loud and when you see them you might think, oh look at them, they look like like Rolling Stones would have looked if they hadn't have had a wash, you know like really look like, but they're lovely lads and don't let, don't let that, uh, that appearance fool you but, but they are lovely and they're right nice and everything they're only there <laughs> So that's I'm saying that, just look at him with his big sinister beard and his sunglasses. It's, it's, if I don't say nice things about him, they'll put that another horse's head in me bed or something. Right? Well, it wasn't a horse. Well, it was a horse, but it was a hobby horse with some red paint on it. It was a warning enough for me. Right, I'll just do this one more, right? But before I go, I'm going to tell you about this guitar. I did make this myself. I made body of this guitar from wood from an MFI wardrobe. Right, you remember them if I wardrobes, if you put your shit away too fast, you used to knock back straight out, didn't it? Back at fall out. Right, and I got fed up of blue tacket back back on. 
So I thought, right, sorry, I just took it off completely and painted it back at wall, brand. And uh, I've had this piece of plywood, didn't know what to do with it. So I made this guitar body out of it, right? This bit, the metal bit, I didn't make out of a, a wardrobe. This, I don't know what, what it was for, but when I was a kid, there used to be a bucket in my grandma and grad's, granddad's bedroom, right? Don't know what they used it for, this bucket, but I, I made this out at the bottom of the bucket, and it's a really tangy tasting metal, it's the weirdest tasting metal I've ever, you know, it's right tang to it, it's weird. But, um, and the neck, I didn't make neck, I got a, a specialist luthier, that's a posh name for the guitar maker, to build it for me, and he, he made this for me, but it, it was made from 